Ahoy and welcome back to DML. So today we are going to be hatching two epic dragons, one of them being a dragon that we've never had before. So this is the puzzle dragon which we got from the latest Dragon's Delight event and I've said it before, I adore this dragon and the way that he looks. He just looks so ridiculous. I am in love. So colourful puzzle dragons are always deep in thought. With their calm and calculating minds, it's said they can solve any trick or riddle. No use pulling all over this witty beast's eyes. Oh god, speaking of which, I've mentioned it, but his eyes are just puzzle pieces. It's creepy. But this guy's an earth, water, and void dragon. I really wouldn't recommend using him on a team. He is way too defensive, his attack is really low, but definitely a cool dragon. For our collection here. Little path. Again, look at that eye! I can't handle it. It freaks me out. So, he's like some mathematical mastermind or something? I guess if he's the puzzle dragon, you could say that he's like a master of solving puzzles or something. Just look at how stupid he looks. It's just the, the, the stomach, mainly. The stomach is definitely the main thing that puts me off. But either way, there he is at level 10 in his adult form. I do prefer his adult form a little bit to the baby one. And God, could you could you move a bit faster there, little path? Holy, took him forever to walk, Jesus. But there is the first dragon that we've got today. And then the second one, like I've said, it is another sparkler dragon. So we do already have a sparkler dragon but just look at how adorable he is, with the little flames coming out of his head and everything. Fire, metal, and energy. And you know, it's been so long since we've read this, so I'm going to read it again. So this trainer would never want to dampen the spirit of the pu- of but what? Blah, huh? Apparently I can't speak. Would never want to dampen the bright spirits of the sparkler dragon, but he does wish it would stop catching things on fire every time it laughs. Oh god, that's that's awful. Can you imagine setting your home on fire every time you giggled? To be fair, I'd be pretty safe because pretty much nothing makes me laugh. I'm dead inside. Dead inside on another level. I do kind of want to keep him in his baby form, but at the same time, I do want to go and do a quick fight with him and our little jigsaw puzzly dragon as well. So we'll level him up to level 10 so he can do one of the little baby early on fights but I love how the sparkler has a little bit of a a little bit of podge sticking out he's got a little bit of like a beer belly forming which I can appreciate as well oh I can't believe you've done this but the effects look really nice on PC I know that depending on the quality settings you have on your device, sometimes you don't see these little effects on his head and on his tail. So that's one of the other reasons I prefer PC DML, because all of the dragons have little special effects. Or the dragons that do have special effects, they look really cute. But you don't really get that on some of the other devices, unfortunately. So there's Path. We have to scroll all the way to the back here, and then what's the third one gonna be? What's another low-level dragon that we have? Scrolling! Ah, my arm! There we go. Oh, we have our blaze bird at level 10 as well. Let's go! Again, I do appreciate going back every now and then and just, you know, doing some fights with some little basic dragons. Just seeing, you know, how they look and how dragons actually do with non-upgraded abilities. Because it has been a very long time since I haven't had main dragons with, you know, upgraded attacks and stuff like that. So just going back to the basics every now and then isn't so bad. You get to build up Dragon Fury, see how dragons, you know, compare to each other. Like, they were all commons there, so it's not too hard. We got an epic and, like, two bi-element dragons here. So... This fight is technically a little bit harder, but just for the fact that we have three dragons that are all epics, technically we should win this fight quite easily. Because, you know, epics have higher base stats, and at the same time they have more elements. 
So epics are obviously stronger than rares and commons and uncommons. So we should a million percent always win fights when we have three epics versus non-epics. You know, it's just simple stuff. It's like if you've got three legendaries, you're going to win against three epics on average. Like 99% of the time. You know, it's just how it is. But anyway, let's wreck this guy. Get out of here, Pulsar. Again, the Pulsar's another one that has some really cool effects on his body. And the Blaze Bird. You know, I've just seen all of these fiery dragons and now I want to look at them. Where is our Blaze Bird? Blaze Bird, not Blaze Word. There we go. Let's, let's go have a look. They look a little flat. If you'd stop moving so much, holy. But you know the little fire effects on its head and everything? I can appreciate that. I can appreciate the little things that they've got going on that you don't always get on some of the other devices that you play on. Uh, the fireball. It's mainly like the fire dragons because you know fire is pretty much always moving. That you see a lot of effects on them. It kind of looks like mist on him. It's like weird fiery mist. I don't know. I don't know. Are there any other dragons around here that have like cool effects on them? Most of them don't. Again, it's just stuff like the fire dragons and that. I, like, I can't really see many others that have a lot of stuff and sparkliness going on. Oh, I don't know. I'm gonna be like looking forever if I'm just like looking over all of these habitats. We just have too many dragons. Holy. I remember what, back when everyone was like, go through every single one of your dragons, quacks. I'm like, Jesus, do you know how long that video would be? I mean, I can do if you want. How, how would you like that? Like a two hour long special of me just I almost said touching dragons, that sounds too lewd. Of petting dragons. There we go, there's the, there's the more correct version of saying that. I don't know, you're just saying it the way that I did it makes it sound a lot creepier than it needs to be. <clears throat> God, my voice is still dying. Stop! And you know, I'm still using the 80% chance hits because my luck is awful with the clan siege RNG usually. I don't know. I don't know. Should I be using the 50% one? I'm still inclined to think no. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I am wrong. Oh, a level 18. You actually gave me a dragon that needs or doesn't mind getting a little bit of food without wasting everything that I have. Very nice. I appreciate that. Yeah, I could literally just do a thing where I sit here and pet every single dragon for hours. I don't know why people wanted that, but people were asking for it like eight months ago, randomly, when something happened. I don't remember what, but I don't know. I mean, considering that we have like 380 different species combined between both accounts, that uh, might be like 370 something ish. Because on here we've got 344 and we've got a lot of limited time dragons on our Android account. So it's probably closer to like 370 ish. But can we imagine going through every single one of these dragons and like petting them and leveling them up? Look at that! Look at that! It's a turf dragon! Hello! I see you there. I like that hope. Whoa! It's like, yeah, right, boy! That's basically what he just did with his head there. Well, now we'll claim that for now. Collect gold from our habitats. Do I have to? Do I have to collect gold from our habitats? <laughs> so painful having to do it. Anyway, let's go over here. We have a ruin that has finished exploring. Ah, oh, finally. Finally for once, we have a ruin that is done. Oh, and we got a gem. Jeez, we're going to be able to skip a fight soon. Oh, baby. That feels good. So, collect gold from mines is easy enough as well. There we go. Done skis. Claim. Explore ruins. Well, I'm not doing any of these now. They all take too long. So, whatever. I give up on the clan quests for now. But. Still trying to breed for that furnace dragon on this account. Boom! 44 minutes. Fantastic. Okay, you're getting skipped in a second. 
give me a sec to do all of our other stuff. <laughs> oh, I wish I could put in six. I don't even have enough food. Rip I mean, gold. So I, I'm just gonna collect all of this now. Then just so that we have enough. There we go. We're at three mil now. Is that enough? Two point four mil. Great. Fantastic. Very good. Very good. And we'll give all of this to Little Lander. There we go. We're almost level 39 now. So speaking of which, I think we can afford it, can't we? We can pop him back in here. Oh no, it's like 1. Point, it's 1.8 million to upgrade metal to level 5, really? Shows how much I pay attention. I just normally have too much gold that I don't realize. Just how expensive the upgrading actually is sometimes. Ugh. But anyway, very quick before I leave for today, we have the Hippie Dragon bundle out at the moment. Eight pounds, you get him and some food. Hippie Dragon is kind of a good early game dragon. I mean, Wind, Plant, and Light, there's some pretty useful abilities or elements to have at an early stage in the game, but eight pounds I think is a bit too steep for what a dragon that many think is really, really ugly looking. I don't know, I can appreciate the derpiness of this hippie dragon, but now I guess it's all in the eyes of the beholder. All up to you what you think. So, for now, I am going to leave, but thank you for joining me in hatching these two new draggies over here. I hope you get the both of them as well, or you got the puzzle dragon at the least, at the very least. Apparently I can't speak today, but... You know, good luck with breeding the furnace as well. I need some luck on my Windows account for a change. But until next time, I will see you then.